Another feature that we've added in version 13.20 of PLS CAD is the ability to add title, index, and appendix sheets to your plan and profile drawings. To demonstrate this, we'll start with our example project here. We'll go look at our sheets view, which is all the plan and profile drawings. And traditionally, we've been able to produce these plan and profile drawings that most people are producing straight out of PLS CAD. One of the comments we were requested to add was the ability to put a title sheet. And so what we've done here is we now have the capability to go to drafting, planner profile sheet configuration, pages, and station range. Uh, we've added the capability to come in here and add a title page. Let's add one title page. We can add some notes pages. I'll put two. And then I'll put a one appendix page, for example, here. By clicking OK, we'll see our redraw in progress, and you will now see some extra pages inserted at the beginning and the ending of the project. Let's go to the first page of our drawing set or the title sheet by hitting the home key on the keyboard, and we'll add our project title the long way by going to drafting, lines and annotation, add text. And when we do that, we'll add text. Let's just add it to our title sheet only in this case. And we're going to add our name of our project, Plymouth to Sheboygan. We're going to make it one and a half inch text height. And we'll graphically drop this about where we want it. I'll click OK. And we've added our project text there. Uh, there is a much quicker way to add text. There's a toolbar button right here, Annotation, Add Text. I click on there. I'm going to add this also to my title sheet. And we're going to call this one 138. KV transmission line, and we'll leave it the same size and height so we can come in here and get that right on our title block here. Once we get our title sheet set up, let's go to the second page by clicking page down on the keyboard, and this will be our, our, our first notes page. And on the first page, I'm going to add in an index map for the entire project. And that can be done by going to Drafting, Inset Plan Detail, Add Sheet Index Map. When you do that, you'll see down in the bottom in the note in the status bar, tell you where you can drag. I'm going to graphically drag roughly the entire size of that first notes page. And a lot of this stuff sets up automatically. Uh, we'll go ahead and just click on OK here and see what we have. And you can see that we have an index map of the entire project. Every sheet has been cut, the numbers noted, and everything on here. So you can look at this index map and see what page your project is on. Once you've got your index map displayed, there's a lot of options if you want to change some stuff. You can find those options under Drafting, Inset Plan Detail, Table Edit. And this Table Edit is what we saw a while ago. So if you want to change the size of it to match uh, your drawing layout or anything you can. Uh, something that I like to do would be to change the scale to something nice and even. So maybe I'll change this to one inch to go 2,500 feet. Uh, something else that you may not want to do is to not draw the border. And maybe you don't want to draw labels or maybe you do want to draw a north arrow. A lot of options in here that you can check and use however you determine they want to be done. Once you get that done, click OK, and you'll see that we now don't have a border. We have a nice, even one inch with 2,500 scale. We have a north arrow down here in our title block that indicates which way is north on this project. After you get your index map done, we can go to the next page by clicking Page Down on your keyboard. And we'll just take advantage of some stuff that we've had in the program for a long time. I'm going to come in here and just add text again. And I'm going to add this to a single sheet. Continue. And I'm going to add in notes 1, note 1, 2, note 2. So however you want to generate your notes, you can do that. If you already have them written in another uh, program such as Word or something, you can just copy and paste all that in here. I don't think we want our notes with one inch, one point five inch tall text, so we we'll make that. Uh, let's just make it point five so we can see it easily. 
and we see our notes back in the background right there, maybe it's not going to be center justified. Maybe it's top left. That way everything will line up a little better. Looks like I may have accidentally done an extra space in there in front of that first note. And we get that all lined up the way. I'll just leave this right here for our example here. Click Enter. Closes that. And uh, there's our notes. So using any of our traditional methods of adding annotation, adding pictures, adding in other inset diagrams by using the drafting inset plan. You can insert plans of structures and show phasing diagrams. Whatever you may want to do can be done right there on your first page. And then if we go to the last page by going to the end button on the keyboard, uh, there's our appendix. So if you wanted to add more information on the appendix, you could do that. If you don't use appendixes, just put the number of appendix sheets as zero when we first set that up back in drafting. Plan and profile sheet, paging station range, we'll just change this to zero, and we won't have any appendix sheets if that's something that you do. Hopefully this explains the capabilities of our new title sheet, index sheets, and appendix sheets capabilities in our drafting programs. Most of our clients already produce their program, their plan and profile drawings directly out of PLS CAD. This was the only reason some of them said that they couldn't do everything out of PLS CAD. So hopefully this will help you complete your full projects directly out of PLS CAD. If you'd like to learn more information about our software, you can see our website at www.powline.com. If you'd like some information about our software, you can contact us directly at info at powline.com. And finally, if you would like to purchase our software, you can contact our sales team directly at sales at powline.com. We look forward to hearing from you soon.